Hello, welcome back to the Student Cooking Guide. Today, we'll be taking a look at a student classic, chilli. Chilli is a cheap and delicious recipe, only costing £1.11p per portion and only 87p per portion by removing optional ingredients. This makes around 8 to 10 portions. We begin by placing the 5% beef mince to a large pot. I have found that adding a splash of water allows the beef to brown faster and to help draw out the fat from the beef mint, as this is something that we don't want at the end of the chilli. Also using a wooden spoon to break up the beef, helping all of the beef cook equally. We have used 5% beef mince. This is more pricey than other options available. However, this leads to a more meaty chilli at the end. We have used other beef mints before, such as 20%. However, we believe that the end result will end up being much tastier with leaner meat. Once all of the beef is browned, turn off the heat and remove the beef and set aside. Now remove the fat from the pot, we use some kitchen roll to make it easier, or you could use another disposable container. Do not put this down the sink, as it will end up clogging up the sink in the long run. Place one tablespoon of rapeseed oil into the pot. We recommend rapeseed oil as it is neutrally flavoured and also has a higher smoke point than olive oil. Once heated, add two sliced onions. Once the onions have become soft and sweated, add one teaspoon of paprika, dried chipotle chilli flakes, chilli powder and cayenne pepper. We use a mix of different spices as each adds different flavour. Personally, my favourite being the dried chipotle chilli flakes as this adds smokiness. And mix. After around 30 seconds, Add 1 tablespoon of tomato puree. Once combined, add 3 fresh sliced chilies. Once again adding more flavour and different texture to the chilli. If the bottom of your pot begins to start looking a bit brown, do not worry, as once we re-add the beef and tomatoes, the bottom will become deglazed and the flavour will be added back to the chilli. After mixing and allowing around 1 minute for the chilli's flavour to come out, re-add the beef, making sure to scrape along the bottom to remove some of the flavour that was left on the bottom of the pan, sometimes referred to as a fond. We then added 250 grams of sliced mushrooms, ensuring that the pot was well mixed. After around two minutes, we then added two tins of chopped tomatoes, combined as this is the base of the chilli. We then added one full tin of baked beans, a tin of kidney beans which had been drained, and an entire carton of black beans. At this point you could also add some chickpeas or butter beans as we have in the past, as this would once again add more bulkiness to the chilli and be able to make more portions towards the end. We then added three sliced peppers. Adding them at this stage allows them to remain somewhat crunchy towards the end and each pepper has a different flavour. We advise using one green, one yellow and one red. Then add one stock cube or stock pot. We decided to use chicken as we believe this leads to the most tasty chilli. However, you could opt for vegetable or beef, but our advice would be to go for chicken. Mixing well to ensure that the stock cube has dissolved, we then added one tablespoon of ghost chilli paste. However, this is an expensive ingredient to use and not very easy to find. On the off chance that you do have some of this, ensure that you only use a small amount and make sure it's fully diluted, as this ingredient is very, very spicy. And allow to simmer for a few minutes. We then added around 20 to 30 grams of dark chocolate and around two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I would advise for the dark chocolate to be at least 70% as we don't want to add sweetness to the chilli and the chocolate will actually add a depth of flavour and also a more savoury taste. This is something I would highly recommend doing. Throughout this process, it is important to taste the chilli. This is to see if we are missing anything. We needed to add more Worcestershire sauce and we added a few more chipotle chilli flakes as we wanted a slightly more smokier and savoury taste. We simmered for a few more minutes, however you can reduce the chilli down to your desired preference, but the chilli would be ready to eat at this point. We added some finely chopped coriander, however coriander could be an acquired taste, so this is optional. We then served with slightly more coriander on the top and adding some Greek yoghurt. This helps balance the heat out, however once again this is optional and could be replaced for sour cream. And there we have it, a cheap easy student chilli. We made between 8 to 10 portions, costing us around £1.11p per portion. However, removing certain ingredients, you can get this down to around 87p. We would highly recommend making this, as this can be made for friends or even frozen for up to 3 months, which makes it ideal for a student to be making if they're needing to save some money. This recipe is just a guideline, so if you want to add or remove some spice, just add as you see fit. This can also be duplicated as I have made up to 20 servings in one go before. If you're also interested in seeing a more advanced version of this chilli using brisket, 
please let us know below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, check us out on our social medias down below. Thank you and goodbye.